Hello folks, welcome to my cooking show, Cooking with Jams Gear. Jams Gear is my t-shirt printing business that I do. That's what I usually do. Cooking is my online thing and it's my little hobby. So today, this show is sponsored to you by one and only and usually Jams Gear. That's, you can check it out on Facebook at Jams Gear or Instagram, you can look me up at Andy Biggs. So today folks, it's gonna be something nice. Got some soya right here, soya trunks. Don't know the brand, cause I get it like this. This is frozen. So I get my soya ground like that. We're gonna be making some taco lasagna. Let's get rolling. Let's do this, man, right now. I'm going to get my ground a little heated up. Then I'm going to be using old El Paso taco seasoning. I never made a lasagna before. And the first time I'm going to make a lasagna is going to be, you know, an awkward one. Taco lasagna. So gonna cook this up for a bit before I add in those seasonings breaking up these big chunks might be a little bit more than what I needed but more is always good there's always tomorrow right so I'm gonna fry this up a little bit just to let you know I had my my stove stove like preheated with some vegetable oil Wondering what kind of oil I had in here. My oven is uh, preheated at 400. I got all my ingredients pre prepped, and you'll see what I'm using as we go along. I'm pretty bad at measurements, I just eye things. So, just in case you're watching my thing and say, How much cup of this? How much pinch of that? You be the judge, man. Do you do it like you're liking, man? You know what I mean? It's like freestyle cooking. I drop it like it's hot when it's up in the pot. You done know. You done know. All right, now. Where's my little spatula holder? Not sure how much package to use, but I'm gonna use two. I can get it open. I'm gonna sprinkle this old El Paso sauce. I'm gonna use two packages. I actually have three. But you know what? I think two should do. I think. And then I'm gonna just mix this up in here a little. And then I'm gonna add some water to this. Just a little bit more. So the package calls for one package, two thirds of um, water per package. So if you're good at math, you put uh, four thirds, I guess. I don't know. So I'm gonna like get this up. It's gonna get thickened. You can see that it's cooking. It's turned into a nice brown. So I wanna do, I have some onions here. I just want to put a little bit in here, just to give it some vinesse. Also add some spring onions, why not? And get that up in there. There we go. Ooh. 
gonna give this a little taste test. Just to make sure everything is right. Well, well you know, two was good. But for me, I need a little bit more spice. So I'm gonna add in some chili powder. Just for some heat. And mix it up. Okay, so this is going to be our filling, or well, part of it. Got lots of it behind the camera that you cannot see. I'm going to turn off my stove and get ready to do the rest. This is probably hot. Okay, there's my pan. I'm gonna be using Dempster's tortillas. Okay. Tortillas or whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna get this open. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. I'm on a little struggle here. So this is going to be used with select, select hot salsa. All right. You can see that. I'm gonna pop this bad boy open. I'm gonna get a spoon of this stuff. I'm gonna put some at the bottom here. It's just to prevent. I'm gonna get my one. I'm gonna put two like this. Folks, I don't know what I'm doing. This is the first time I'm doing this. Spread out a lovely meat sauce. Spots. I want to 
much salsa. I don't want everything to get too soggy. And then, of course, what's lasagna without cheese? So, I'm going to spread this cheese on there. Afraid to spread the cheese, spread that cheese. I don't think this is this. This is it. Since we're making lasagna, I'm gonna go with some Italiano cheese on this. Sorry, folks, this ain't vegan. In case you're wondering. Now it looks at like the next layer. I think I should have got a bigger pan. Oh well, you live and you learn. And I'm gonna spread that stuff all over there again. Spread it on there. Yeah, spread it on there. My favorite tool is doing good. It's just not for cakes, you know. Alright. Put some up in this corner. Say the juices of the salsa go down and get all the veggies and touch that soya ground at the bottom without getting everything um, soggy. Look at that, folks. One dry did it all. Look at that, perfect. Perfect. Now we're gonna go with our cheese. I should have tucked 
that in there. Keys on there, man. Just like that. Don't forget, we got our Italiano. Don't forget Italiano. Yes, I'm a cheese lover. That's why I can't go 100% vegan, because you know, I just, some stuff you just can't give up, man. And cheese, for me, is one of them. Not gonna lie. So we're gonna have that cheese melted on there. into the oven and we're gonna put a tin foil on here too so this will help it from stop sticking to the tin foil and also give it a nice buttery taste okay so now I'm gonna get my tin foil Bear with me, folks. I just got this tin foil today, and I'm struggling with it. Oh, you want to put this in your tin foil like this? As I reckon, you want to pop it in your oven. Ooh, this bad boy is heavy. I'm gonna pop it in the oven. It's just basically to warm it up, melt the cheese. So I'm gonna set my timer on for 15 minutes. And then I'll be back and I'll show you the rest. Stay tuned. All right so. guys, it's back. It's been 15 minutes. Taco lasagna have been in the oven. Let's get it out and see what's happening. Ooh, it's heavy. It smells good. Can't wait to get into you. All right, let's see how's your view. Perfect. Move this stuff out of the way. All right. Let's see what we got here now. The reveal. All right. All right. All right. It's nice. Nice and soft. Okay, so since this is the cheese is like melted, look at that, look at that. <clears throat> so now it's time for the sour cream. What's taco without sour cream? I'm gonna be using 14% sour cream from Select. I'm gonna take a scoop of this. I'm gonna spread it on top. Just like that. Uh my suggestion, if you ain't gonna be eating this all in one night, you'll probably wanna put this kind of topping on what you're gonna be eating. <clears throat> so I'm not sure how well sour cream goes in microwave. But, you do what you want. I'm just showing you what, what's popping. All right, so now I'm just gonna spread this sour cream on top of this. Looking like I'm making a cake. This is where I should have my roots. 
bachelor. <clears throat> well, you know, it is what it is. All right. Got that sour cream in there. <clears throat> now I'm gonna add, don't have chives, but I do got like, you know, some green onion. Ooh, not that big piece. Get out of here. Spread some green onions on top of this bad boy. Like I said, taco lasagna is looking like a taco. Taco, taco bello. And last but not least, you already know, we need more cheese. People will put this in the oven, let the cheese melt, but I want it like this. So it looks like a taco. So, you know the cheese ain't on there until it's falling out. And of course, we're gonna put some Italiano because this is a lasagna. Don't be afraid of the cheese. And there you have it folks. This is my taco lasagna. I'm gonna get a piece of this on a plate and I'm gonna meet you over at the table. All right, stay tuned and stay blessed. This is what it is, yo. Taco lasagna. Check out my YouTube channel to see the full make of this beauty right here that I'm about to tear up. And those who's watching my YouTube channel, you're about to see me tear it up and let you know what I think of it. First time I'm making something like this. Taco lasagna, layers. All right, bless up. Yo, so what up folks, it is what it is. About to tear up into this thing right here, you know what I'm saying? Some lasagna, taco, taco lasagna. <clears throat> never, never had this thing before, never made it before. I never really made lasagna before. And this is made with uh, veggie, veggie ground so yeah you know I don't eat meat so but fish I'm a pescatarian pescatarian whatever you want to call it so this thing got layers man as you can see the layers how we did it up you know what I'm saying it's looking kind of pretty cheese is all melted up in there if you can see it just the way I liked it it's kind of saucy so let's get into this man. Woo! What a coming down like a mess. <clears throat> Let me get my plate closer. And get my fork and knife in the right hand. There we go. Mm. Yo, that's crazy. Tastes like a nice taco. Um <clears throat> veggies ain't overcooked. Like because it's crunchy, <clears throat> so they're not, <clears throat> it's not soggy. It's like a layer taco, it's a whole lot of layers. And the cheese just melted on there perfectly. I didn't have it in the oven too long, it was 15, 15 minutes. like slicing down into the layer with the um, sour cream. Mm. 
bomblicious, man. It's bomblicious. Woo! It's spicy. A lot of spice in there, but I like my spice. Gotta say, it's another thumbs up. So you know what time it is. You don't want to see you sitting here watching me smack my lip while I enjoy this. Go make your own. And before you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Jams cooking with Jams Gear. And check me out on Facebook, Jams Gear, and Andy Biggs on Instagram. <clears throat> All right. Bless up, peace, and yeah, if you're a small business owner, don't forget to check out the Home Business, the Home Base Business Society on Facebook. That is the Home Base Business Society. All right, it's free to advertise, and that's mine. I'll try to leave the links below this time. All right, bless up. He doesn't know. I'm hungry.